everybody it's shauna i'm back again for another video um i was talking to a colleague of mine earlier and you know we were discussing viewpoints you know when you look from your humanness versus through your from your higher self and there's a big difference when you are going through the journey yes you're having a human experience but you have to remember why you came here to earth why did you sign up to come back well you sign up to come back because earth is a school right it's a lot of learning it's a lot of hands-on experience now you can go to any school and read in a book you're not going to get the same thing as if you're actually hands-on you know living it so say you go to a survival school right and you mostly you're just reading the book and you're taking tax you know tests and then you're dropped off in the woods <laughs> And they're saying, okay, now you got to do what you just learned in class. You're going to learn a lot and gain a lot of knowledge in that hands-on experience. That's what life is. That's what life is on earth. We sign up for the lessons that we need to learn to, to evolve. So if you get caught up in your humanness, but yes, we're having this experience. We're experiencing it, one, to pay back karmic debts, and two, to advance our soul growth and knowledge, right? To actually have hands-on experience of what it means to be in love and to have emotions and have compassion. And um, just remember that we are a very small aspect of who we truly are. We're a just a small aspect of our higher self stuffed in this little vessel here on earth learning and it's just it's just amazing that if you go through these challenges that you've thrown at yourself it's going to be very hard for you excuse me I'm all, it's going to be very hard for you um it's a lot easier when you change your perspective your perception on things if you could just reprogram yourself to flip that switch for example i'm going to counterpart scenario and in the beginning my counterpart would say something or do something it would trigger that shit out of me <laughs> i mean to be quite honest and in the beginning i was like man what is she why is she saying this why is she doing this why i don't understand why can't we just get along why can't it be smooth and later i learned you know, I learned to embrace those triggers because she was actually bringing up wounds that needed to be healed in me. And I was really grateful. I really had a lot of gratitude for her. Um, you know, maybe when the shoe was on the other foot, maybe when she finally realized when I was triggering her, she probably didn't enjoy it as much, but that's how you get those wounds out. And if your counterpart is not doing that for you, they're not around to do that. Everybody will mirror and reflect now I never used to knew what that that I never used to knew what that meant. That means that person, there's people will come into your life to mirror something within you that needs to be healed. And we have karmic people, you know, that that we sign up to agree to to meet and be with, um, or to have some form of it could be a parent, could it be a sibling, could be a love relationship, could be a job, you know, it could be a financial. Um, situation and um usually karmic situations are not very good experiences well in the beginning they all seem like that oh it's a great scenario and i'm going to go in this great relationship and things start to go turn sour really quick there are always red flags and everything but we ignore them those red flags are patterns and situations that we see that we need to stop but we continue on to see where they take us, right? That's the lesson we learn. But when we finally realize, I know a lot of people who will say that what their patterns are, but they keep repeating them. They don't stop them. <laughs> they keep de dating the same person. They keep going through the same scenarios, attracting the same people over and over and over. But yet they're like, I don't know why I keep attracting these people to me. Yes. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. You attract people at your vibration. You're attracting that experience to you because you need to heal it. And um, 
a lot of people don't know how to heal. Okay, so what are the tools to heal? What do you do? A lot of things I like to do is take my client backwards in time and they hold their um, visualization is very important. They hold their child self hand through the situation, whatever trauma, whatever bad experience say, okay, for example, you were bullied in school, you take your child self and you hold their hand and you know, you go to that memory in your mind of when you were bullied and you say, you know what? This is not your fault, this situation. You did nothing um, to perpetrate this. That was their wounding. That's their childhood wounding playing out. You know, so we're going to forgive them. And you're, you're holding your childhood self and you're saying, you know what? You know, we're, we're going to forgive them and we're going to our, forgive ourselves because we thought we were not good enough or we, we thought there was something wrong with us and we were different. However, we judged ourselves harshly or however we took it, you know, we're just going to forgive and then we're going to let go. And we're going to transmute it to transmute. It means we're just going to give it back to the universe, but we have to forgive and you have to go back through your timeline and forgive each and every person. Not you don't call them on the phone. You don't go to their house in your mind. You do it when you're on that timeline, when you're walking backwards in your mind, you have to visualize it and people do not want to go you know, through those memories, they're very painful memories, but you know what? You have to do it if you want to heal it and release it. And the key to healing is always forgiveness, no matter what's, what somebody's done to you. I don't care if they raped you and murdered you and burned you and set you on fire and every single life that you ever with together, you still need to forgive them or otherwise you'll keep repeating a pattern every lifetime and you will, you know, always have that hurt in your heart and hatred. And hatred will burn a hole right in your soul. Forgiveness. And the thing, once you forgive, it doesn't happen to you anymore because you're not going to allow it to happen. You're not going to allow anybody to take advantage of you. You're not going to allow anybody to um, step in your boundaries, you know, over your boundaries. You're not. But that doesn't mean you're going to close your heart off either. So it's very important that you look from a higher perspective, that every person has come into your life to teach you something. Everybody's a teacher and everyone is a student at the same time. We're here to learn and evolve. And as you release those old programmings in your mind of how you used to be or how you used to perceive yourself or all that victim mentality and all these things that were happening to you, they're never, nothing is ever happening to you. Everything is happening for you to change to change you, to change your perspective, to change your worldviews, <laughs> to change and evolve to be a better version of yourself every single day. Every day I am different. Every day I am changing, evolving. My conscious mind is expanding every single day. The more I release, the more I heal, the more the divine can give me information because I am open to it. That's all I want to share with you today. If you want me to answer any questions or you, you have questions for me, you know, you can message me and I'll do another video. Take care. Sending love, light and healing, Sean.